this series video on season two of the OA. I'll cover some parts of the season, some ambiguous topics and scenes within season two that I really want to discuss. But before I get into those theories, I thought it would be a little bit of fun to compare the scene from Homer's NDE in season one to when the OA says she can hear him in the roof in season two. So I thought it would be, it would be a little bit of fun to compare the scenes side by side and just see how the scene matches for audio cues and if there's anything else that we can pick up from that. Okay, so here we go. I've matched it so the hand, that the Homer's hand when it comes through the roof, it aligns with both scenes. So whilst they don't look correct at the moment, that was the center point that I that I used to try and match the scenes. You, into the future. you said in your NDE that the tunnel was actually a, the crawl space of a ceiling and there were pipes everywhere. That's you up there. That's me. Yes. Up there, right now in the ceiling. Yes. I guess there, that is a bit of a match there, um, obviously with the hand movements, and also when he kind of turns around to say, turns around to say there's nothing up here, there is a shock look on Homer's face, which you could say it aligns with when he sees the spider, um, but that obviously could be coincidence as well, right? That might have been something that I didn't even think about. But the thing I was really looking for was probably the alarm sound and unfortunately that doesn't align up at all because you hear this there's the siren kicked in straight away for the season two the voices do match so the voices in the season one are screaming when the alarm goes off but the alarm in season one doesn't go off till till just in a bit here so there's not really a lot of synchronicity between them obviously it's it's there's a deliberate um, suggestion there, but actually the scenes between them don't really align with anything obvious that I can see. So in a second here, I think um, the original season one uh, siren kicks off, just as he's about to put the... Yeah, so there's that's the other siren there, and obviously the scene has changed for season two. But still, it was quite cool. Maybe a little bit of synchronicity there with a few things, but nothing massively obvious. Okay, now let's move on to the theory section. Okay, so the first scene I want to talk about is really the main opening scene of season two. First off, we have a time reference. So we have a time which is seven hours and 46 minutes earlier. So what is that time reference related to? Then we have a couple of skaters going pretty quick down a hill. They happen to see the OA, who we think is the OA at that moment, uh, in, in the side of the road, and the skaters lose control and probably ultimately fall to their death, but it turns out to be Kareem's dream, so he wakes up at the end. At the same time as well, we hear that banging on the door, which is ultimately waking Kareem up from his dream, uh, which is actually Mrs. Wu. So let's mention the first thing, so the timing. So that's the timing which says 7 hours 46 minutes earlier. I personally think that this is just a reference to the final point of season one when the OA is shot and dies. So it was seven hours and 46 minutes earlier before the OA was shot in season one. So in seven hours, 46 minutes from when Kareem is awoken from his dream, the OA will enter his dimension. So that's the point where BBA and the boys enabled her to travel. So what does Kareem's dream actually mean? If we disregard the seven hours, 46 minutes, is possibly the timing around the OA. It could be something different, of course, but that's how I look at it. So what does his dream actually mean? I think you can interpret this a few different ways. But for me, this isn't the OA who he sees in the dream. It's possibly Nina. So I think it's Nina reaching out to Kareem because before the OA enters Kareem's dimension, he's still a critical part to the dimension with the house and also he's still connected to Nina at this point even before the OA arrives in this dimension so this could be Nina reaching out to him because she knows he's special to her and asking for help also the skaters falling off the cliff could be a depiction of the loss of life that Nina has find, found out about so maybe Nina's trying to tell Karima's story about her involvement in the loss of the human life 
So possibly Nina was angry and broke up with Pierce at that point, her husband. So this could have been a distress call by Nina to Kareem. So she found out about the kids dying in the house by the game that her husband made. So she wanted to signal to Kareem to, to get him to help her, to, to get him to investigate by sending him a psychic message. And perhaps with the help of Old Knight as well, because, and possibly he, Old Knight enabled her to contact Kareem as well. But anyway, I guess another option for this scenario is to what that dream is about. Another option could be that OA is trying to reach out to Kareem from another dimension. Perhaps the skaters meant nothing at all. Perhaps it was just Kareem's dream and it was interrupted by the OA's influence. So he's having a normal dream. Next minute he saw the OA trying to interact in his dream, trying to send him a message and it sends his dream out of control. Also, another option could be it was the OA trying to contact Kareem from the future. OA in the future has already contacted Kareem, so it doesn't really make sense for her to contact him rep retrospectively. But yeah, so there's a few options, I think. But for me, the logical one is it's Nina reaching out. But let me know your thoughts on this one. So the final point I want to discuss is a very different topic. So it's when the OA fell into the trees underground. So when she's in the tree roots, when she's in the house trying to find Michelle, and then next minute she becomes consumed by speaking to the trees. So on the surface of that scene, there is an obvious message about nature communicating to the OA or nature communicating to Nina. Because we know OA is now in Nina's body at this point and she can communicate and she can hear nature because Nina is psychic. Then the explanation from the trees about how trees are connected. So connected by the roots, they communicate and work together. So if one tree gets sick, the others send food Interestingly enough as well, scientific studies have been done on the idea and evidence that plants communicate in some form. Has been, that, that idea has been around for decades. But I think over the last few years, more studies have been, have been done and found that trees actually do transfer carbon between each other via mycelia, um, almost like a, a fungal network, if you will. So it's a cool addition to the idea that it is surrounded by science as well, which is quite nice. But I guess how does this actually affect or add anything to season two of the OA? Well, if you add the idea about the trees and their fungal network, being able to communicate and look after each other and speak over long distances, um, if we add that idea that the NDEs are the forking path in the brain. So the brain we see shows a visual representation of the NDE with the brain seeds and the, I guess, the blossoming flowers that, that come from the brains after they've been in the house. Could this be a suggestion that all our minds are linked? All our brains are the roots of the trees, the roots of the flowers, and they're all interconnected with each other. So the connection certain characters have, their mysterious bonds throughout this TV show, um, the will to find Homer that to, in another dimension, is it because everyone is connected via the brain network? So everyone is connected via consciousness. The fungal network, again, is at work here, like a tree, almost like a hive mind, holding all our main characters together across many dimensions. I mean, I could go on talking about this for hours and hours, but I think I've possibly portrayed this theory. Um, it's, it's pretty hard to get across. So I think I've got it there and its connection within season two. Um, so with those points covered, I should leave this here because once again, this video has gone on long enough. I like to do little 10 minute snippet videos, not go on for half an hour. Um, but let me know your thoughts on either of those theories. Did you see something with the, the video I did at the start with Homer's NDE? Any connection there which I missed? I think there's a few subtle things, but nothing obvious, which is a little bit disappointing, but still I do like that concept itself. I'll leave this video here. So subscribe for future content from me here. So more things from the OA season two to come. I plan to do that for at least a couple of weeks. Um, thumbs up if you like this content, let me know some feedback below, but stay tuned for more videos. And until next time, this is Mesh and I'll see you later.